What's up guys? Zinigami here. Let's go through some more One Piece chart cruise news. Today, we have more to talk about in global than Japan. <gasps> No way! On the Japanese version of One Piece Trader Cruise, we are getting a nude raid boss. A new raid boss, not a nude one, although a nude one would be nice too. We are getting the Doflamingos! Ra uh, Zero Stamina Island. Did I say raid boss? I think I did. Uh, Zero Stamina Training Island. We're getting the Doflamingo Training Island. It is going to be on the 5th. And we're going to get his shit for it. It's, it says, uh, the Heavenly Demon... Zero Stamina Island and it just says you get Doflamingo's ship as rewards. That's pretty clear. Uh, no idea where he's gonna fall in the difficulty of things yet. Uh, but once we do figure out what the difficulty is, we'll give it a couple of shots, but uh, it, training islands are pretty hard to beat. Um, and a lot of things is you gotta rely on a lot of luck for them. Also on the Japanese version of One Piece Trailer Cruise, you'll see that these two islands are out. These were the booster and evolving units. Z uh, islands that you've seen before uh, we've talked about before you can run these one time and you, right now I have nine more hours to run it. It's gonna come back a couple times and On these islands the secret stage for both of them or well, the secret stage for the boosters is the rainbow dragon and the secret stage for the Piggies is the princess turtle So if you are looking for a princess turtle or you're looking for a rainbow dragon and you want to get that you can run through the island and before you get to the last stage you can exit if you do not get that secret stage so you'll go to the menu button in the upper left hand corner hit quit and say yes you want to quit you'll lose out on that seven stamina but a princess turtle is definitely worth seven stamina so you can give those a couple of tries just like how we've talked about resetting on one of the event islands to get the better bond clay cape item that came out a little while ago on the global version of One Piece Trailer Cruise, we can't show you any of this because their in-game announcement is still slow and they haven't caught up with it yet. But we are getting some very, very exciting things catching up with the Japanese version. Basically, the only thing we're waiting for that the Japanese version has, that the global version has, besides content such as new raid bosses and new story mode islands and new Fortnites, are the Colosseum stage because we are getting two return islands per week. Yes, we are going to be getting Sadie and Hina as our first return islands starting on the 12th. That week after that, we'll be getting Zeph and Axe Arm Morgan, and then after that, we're gonna be getting uh, Domino and Khalifa weekly islands. So, we're gonna be getting two islands a week in addition to our brand new island every single week, and we're also getting double raid bosses a week. So, uh, if you didn't know, some people actually I'm surprised did not notice, but Global actually does have a weekly Fortnite island, I mean, weekly raid bosses already. And the weekly raid bosses are on every Thursday. Now every Sunday, we are getting, on starting on Sunday, July 17th, we're getting two raid bosses a week, one on Sunday and one on Thursday like we usually do. Uh, that second raid boss works exactly the same way as it normally does, 24 hours. And the first one we're getting is Avankov on the 17th. And surprisingly enough, on the 24th, we can't see anything yet. There's nothing on the 24th. And then on the 31st, it starts up again with Mihawk. But that leads to a lot of speculation as to why is there nothing on the 24th, which we would expect a new raid boss to be on. And that could be at the 24th. Fourth is going to be a brand new raid boss for Global. Uh, hopefully, we're we're planning on the either Zephyr that was is long overdue or the uh, Admirals, the Buster Call raid. So Buster Call raid has some very good units on it, including Dalmatian and Momonga, and those two by far the best. And Zephyr is Zephyr. We all want Zephyr. Everyone wants Zephyr. So. Fingers crossed for a new raid boss on the 24th of July. Double raid bosses, and we are getting also, 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 Corazon Suopes is already coming on July 9th. So July 9th, we're already getting a brand new batch of Suopes characters for global version, and uh, I bet this doesn't work right away because it never works right away. Yeah, I didn't think so. So. I was trying to show my, my web browser, and it, it's a little funky with my with my OBS right now. But the characters on this new batch of units are going to be Machvis, Gladius, Violet, Dellinger, Diamante, and Corazon. 
Don Quixote of Rosinate Corazon. It is going to be that our numbers 990 to 101. And we're also getting the return of Log Luffy. So we're getting the new Log Luffy on the global version, which the global version getting that new Log Luffy also hints at maybe the Stronghold units coming eventually. So maybe the Stronghold unit batch, they're going to make that a single fest or something. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we're going to be getting, but we are going to be getting the uh, Corazon Sugo Fest very, very soon, which is, I mean, it's, we've only had our Sugo, global Sugo Fest a couple days ago at this point, so it's le two weeks in, in between Sugo Fest, which is a really short time for global, brand new ones too. Normally we would expect a filler Sugo Fest somewhere in there. And yes, as, as chat mentioned, we do also see one of the new Coliseum units spoiled already the new coliseum unit for the next batch being foxy grandma foxy specifically so uh i hate foxy i think he's a terrible character because he made chopper cry so death to foxy guys that is it for one piece trailer cruise news there's so much stuff on global none of it is actually in-game announcements yet but they are you know if you if you time travel we can see all these things that exist remember that time traveling is whenever we turn to time on our devices such as i manually set my phone time in the future you can't actually run those islands but you can see them once they update it in game guys i'm zinigami thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to our patreon subscribers carlos baron and super crazy apple and thank you to everyone here watching on twitch and thank you guys for watching on youtube give us a like share it around and y'all say beautiful <laughs>